Hi, it's Adrian. How are you doing today? And so I'm back with uh, the Jelly Much Shadows from ColourPop, and these were part of the Precious Metals, um, and that's a makeup palette that they just went ahead and uh, released for their 10 year anniversary and the Jelly Nut Shadows, they did six of them to go ahead and go with the Precious Metals and I got uh, Most Wanted and so that's what we're working with today and so I guess we'll go ahead and get started. I started with the uh, Glow Oil and this has the SPF 50 in it and then as far as what I went ahead and did for my base today, I used the Maybelline Superstay C Plus. I have my name 102. And then I used the Soul Face and Body Bronzer and Fair. And this one is from ColourPop. It's on the same website. Soul is their body line. And so I have these two mixed together for my base today. And then as far as what I did for bronzer, I went ahead and used the NYX Buttermelt Bronzer. This one is an all buttered up. All butter up. No, all buttered up. So, yeah. And this is actually the second lightest shade. It actually has some red in it. Or it has more red. The lightest shade actually goes more peachy, or at least on me, it goes more peachy. And um, then I did use uh, this the Sunset Strip by ColourPop. It's one of my favorite all-time um, yeah, uh, blushes from ColourPop. And you used Seismic as well from ColourPop. And this is uh, one of their highlighters. Um, Seismic and Flexitarian are usually my favorite. Seismic does have a little bit of glitter in it. If you don't want any glitter at all, uh, Flexitarian is probably a really good option for you. And um, it has that glow into the next universe kind of look to it. I did go ahead and let's see, what else did I do? Usual Suspects, the um, Essence Lash Without Limits, and the Essence Thick and Wow and Caramel Blonde. So I had those two on. As far as lips today, I did go ahead and use the Maybelline Superstay Ink Crayon. And then I did go ahead and use the NYX um, Butter Gloss on top of that, and it's Butter Gloss Bling with the glitter in it. As far as what I did on the eyes, I started with the Precious, Mel or Precious Metals palette, and then I did go ahead and um, add in a Jelly Mint shadow on top of it. Um, but I did start down here because I wanted to go for a darker look today. Um, so in the crease, I actually had this color, and then I went ahead and in the outer corner, I put that color. Um, <clears throat> let's see, as far as the inner corner from here to here, uh, I did go ahead and use this color, and then, uh, let's see, what else did I do? Uh, I did go ahead and use this color as well, and I used it as a uh, brow highlight color. So I had that one on as well. And then I moved into the ColourPop. And again, like I said, I have um, Most Wanted. And there's a swatch of it. It's real bronzy color. And so this is the way it looks like. Uh, with these, they're, um, they're wet shadows. So it comes with a lid like this. And you need to go ahead and keep the lid, because if you don't, it'll dry out really quickly. And um, yeah. They're also very, very messy. This is, you know, so, and you just need a very little bit. It will go a really long way, and it will be very, very me metallic. So, um, yeah. Uh, another thing that I found with the jelly mesh shadows is that when you're putting them on, you really have to think about going ahead and putting the same amount and spreading it the same way um, on each eye because I have had looks and <laughs> yeah, where one eye was a lot darker than the other eye and I just, you know, put them both on and I didn't think about how much I was putting on each eye. And one eye looked like it was really finished and the other eye looked like it needed another coat. So yeah, that can happen as well. So they are definitely 
a little bit more of a learning curve. They're not exactly beginner friendly, but they're not that difficult to work with. A lot of times with a formula like this, I don't even try with the brush. I just go ahead and go for my fingers right away to go ahead and use them. And um, But the payoff is really worth it. And then uh, once I got the Most Wanted on, I did go ahead and put the glitter shade um, on top of it. And I think that that really turned out pretty. I also used ColourPop eyeliner as well. And this one's a burgundy color. Here's the way that the look came out. So it did come out a lot darker. And um, I think it worked out. I like it. Um, I love this palette. And I really have always uh, liked the makeup palettes because with ColourPop they don't make them huge. You can hold them in one hand and so you can actually, you know, hold this in one hand and work with the other hand. And the fact that they made one half of the palette um, warm and one half of the palette cool also really works for me. And um, it just, this replaces a whole bunch of palettes that for a lot of us who have big ColourPop collections are now starting to get older and so they're expiring and we can't use them as much and we don't feel comfortable using them. So getting a palette like this, you can go ahead and replace a lot of palettes. Um, I did do a video called Precious Metals and if you want to take a look at that one, I list off um, all of the palettes that uh, Amanda from uh, Makeup Just for Fun thought were actually um, that you could get partial replacements for a whole bunch of palettes by going ahead and getting this palette. You don't get every pa color in those other palettes, but you get enough colors and close enough colors that you can do a look that's pretty similar if not, but it won't be the same look that you would have gotten with that palette. So I know that's a long explanation, but um, really it's my feeling that especially with precious metals, um, with these, they usually run about $35, which is a really good price for getting that many shadows. But if you got precious metals, and in my opinion, um, maybe Stone Cold Fox and Bare Necessities, or you could go ahead and get Smoke and Roses and uh, Rock Candy. But any, and these are all makeup palettes that I've been listing off. And if you got a couple of those, you can definitely go ahead and replace a lot of the palettes that are getting older and expiring. And, um, I would definitely suggest Precious Metals to go ahead and do that. And like I said, Smoke and Roses, Rock Candy, Stone Cold Fox, Bare Necessities, even the matte one. Um, get a couple of the makeup palettes and you can replace a lot of your older palettes. So uh, that's my suggestion there because I really like ColourPop and I didn't just want to put my palettes away and, you know, not be able to do anything more with them because I like them and I've spent time learning how to work with them. Um, yeah, so precious metals definitely, again, precious metals um, can definitely help you replace a whole bunch of ColourPop palettes and the uh, makeup palettes usually run right at about $35 a piece, which is a really good price for a makeup palette because uh, not only are they small enough to fit in one hand, but they have a lot of colors in them and um, a lot of shades.